Welcome to these incredible before and after photos from subscribers. I've got 10 different subscribers photos in this video. Make sure you stick around to the end. They're all interesting and different uh, from one another. Everybody combines these amazing plants that we have in uh, different ways in their gardens and create very different things that say something to them. And uh, I'm definitely appreciative of all of these different types of design. So this is Jason from North Dayton, Ohio in zone six. And uh, you can follow him on Instagram at gardening with Jason. Uh, he moved into this house back in 21 and you can see uh, your uh, traditional uh, front front garden with lots and lots of turf that uh, you know we, we, we see everywhere and he jumped he started to jump right in create a bed here along the uh, driveway then added some additional beds uh, out in the front garden uh, right in the middle of the turf and just completely changed the uh, shape of the turf that's an easy way to mow turf as well to have cur long linear curves like this are much easier than square corners uh, and then started to uh, plant the space, as you can see, and then really started to fill it in. Uh, and he's, uh, it's really, as you can see, it's, as it's starting to mature here over the course of a couple of seasons, how fantastic this front garden space up in Dayton, Ohio looks. I love the use of the conifers, the different color foliage. Everything stands out so nicely in here. The, the rocks, the stone, uh, all parts of it. The turf that's remaining, you'll notice how nice it looks. Sometimes concentrating your efforts on less turf will result in much nicer turf overall. You know, trying to maintain 5,000 square feet of turf is sometimes, it takes the amount of water, the amount of time, you know, effort and time that you have to put into it, you don't end up with the kind of result that he has in this, you know, small amount of turf just easier to take care of. Um, everything you do is kind of amplified into a smaller space. So thank you, Jason, for sending these in. Let me jump into the video real quick. Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. Thank you guys so much for sending in these photos for these before and after subscriber videos. I uh, just love seeing all of your photos. I still have tons of emails. There's gonna be several of these going up right in a row and I'm still going to have a hundred emails. But if you're interested in sending in photos, I'd love to see more of them. You can send them to this email address right here and happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Next up, we have Matt and Pat in Southeastern Pennsylvania zone 7A. Uh, they bought this house back in 1990 and started gardening uh, right away on it. Uh, you can see uh, they had a big blank space to work with here. Uh, front and uh, back garden. And they really, really significantly, <laughs> as these photos progress here, you can see how much they've done with this property since 1990. Uh, just really, uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, so, and, they, and his email says we're both plant addicts, so there's no, there's no adult in the room to put the brakes on. But you can see this incredible transformation from a blank slate into just really just art basically. Uh, this is a uh, panoramic view that he sent. I'm probably gonna end up using this as the clicker uh, for the video or the thumbnail for the video. You can see what an incredible transformation this is um, up in uh, Southeast Pennsylvania. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for sending these in. Beautiful. Next up we have Vamil. I hope I'm saying that correctly in Las Vegas, Nevada zone 8B or 9A. Uh, somewhere in there. Uh, she said they uh, moved into this house in 2021 and immediately took out these very large shrubs, overgrown shrubs that are up uh, near the foundation and it was housing. Uh, had, there were some rats uh, up underneath them. Those uh, ground dwelling rats can uh, definitely be a menace and so I'm guessing that's what that probably uh, was. But uh, you can see this little uh, um, Define, new defining piece along the front garden bed uh, over to the driveway was installed. Uh, great looking plantings were re put, in, put back in where those big, big giant overgrown evergreen shrubs had been uh, before. And then, you know, just really nice planting areas up there. Then this uh, big wall was put in, this retaining wall along the uh, front of the property out by the sidewalk, I'm guessing, and, uh, you know, planted since then and then there you can see it uh, out from the uh, sidewalk back up to the house so we went from these overgrown shrubs up there to a really interesting landscape and it's only been 2021 so the things they've planted in this 
retaining wall bed space, uh, you know, will continue to uh, grow over time. Everything about this, you know, just really looks great. Thank you so much for sending. Next up, we have photos sent in from Jennifer over in Metro Atlanta, Zone 7B. And you can see it's a really natural looking landscape, you know, with the, you know, the, the mature trees around it, um, you know, as they were, as they were moving in here and uh, got, got to work right away, made this little um, stone uh, border between the uh, turf and that front garden bed. And then I really like, I'm, I'm kind of drawn to gardens like this. If you have kind of a natural wooded space to just kind of keep them, you know, kind of natural looking and use natural stone and, you know, natural materials. And, you know, if you're, if you have pine straw falling, use it, uh, you know, uh, just it didn't try to, you know, turn this into a super, super formal space because it's just not the kind of you know, neighborhood and space that they're occupying, you know, just kind of matching the natural look of the forest that they're kind of living in. And I really like the things and the, some whimsy in the garden. And, uh, you know, again, I speak frequently about, you know, the containers that you're using and the little, you know, things you collect while you travel and those kinds of things being part of your garden. So I really, really like this uh, garden space here. Here's some ajuga. Uh, around some stepping stones up by the uh, door. So thank you so much, Jennifer, for sending these in. Next up, we have photos from Anna Maria up in Bellevue, Washington. Uh, this is a, a heck of a makeover here. Uh, she says uh, in her email that this is a slow progress from a slow gardener in Bellevue, Washington. Uh, she's dealing with weeds, buried construction debris, a stormwater infiltration trench or that ditch. Um, that we'll, we'll see she built this incredible bridge over uh, in just a second. Uh, and she's done all this by herself and five tons of gravel and a wheel, with a wheelbarrow and a shovel. And uh, here we go. This is the, uh, the start of it here. It turns this uh, slope space into this uh, interesting path, stonework up at the top. And then here's a, uh, you know, an after photo. And you can see that down at the bottom there, the uh, bridge going over the, uh, uh, over over the ditch to get you over to this area with a little seating bench and you know it's just really a beautiful space as so you turn this just kind of unused unused spot over here into a really a, a piece of artwork so thank you so much for sending these in from washington jumping in here one more time i wanted to let everyone know from the time this video goes up through the entire month of december 2023 there is a $60 discount off the Learn to Garden video series, which is the biggest discount that's ever been offered on it. You can use the code DEC60, uh, capital DEC60, uh, to get the $60 off uh, during the uh, month of December. Thank you guys so much for participating in all parts of the channel and watching. And uh, again, uh, happy Thanksgiving. Next up, we have Deanna, and this is from Springfield, Missouri, Zone 6B. And she's been in the house since 2017. It's a very small urban lot, like 0.14 acres, which is, a, you know, our, our lot there in Raleigh is 0.19. So that'll give you some reference. This is a, a pretty small urban, you know, pretty small, a pretty small lot, which is, you know, you can do, you can do a lot with. Uh, this is the before photo from 2017. And you can see that shed in the back. Uh, was probably not in the uh, best of shape and that little covered carport uh, that was back there. Um, she got her seats around her um, fire pit here, but now she's moved that seating area to the back. That shed is gone. Uh, she put a cover here for that uh, that car parked back uh, in the back and just kind of neatened up the entire area, planted a couple things, made a really nice path back to that seating area in the back now. And it just, uh, you know, really has come a long way uh, in, in that amount of time. So thank you so much, Deanna, for sending these in from Missouri. Next up, we have an amazing garden transformation from Lisa and her husband down in Ackworth, Georgia, Zone 7B. They moved into this house back in 2016. You can see this back uh, garden space was just trees and just kind of an open, open lot, some pines back there. Uh, and they jumped all in on this thing. They've put in, done incredible amounts of stonework, uh, trellis work, steps. Um, she says she's a garden addict and it's been a lot of fun. It's also a lot of work, um, but very, very rewarding. And you can see from these photos, they've been adding raised beds and 
just all kinds of interesting things here in combinations with stone and perennials and you know lots and lots of flowering things. I'm sure this is a, a pollinator ha um, haven. She said she made 70 bouquets this year from uh, from all the flowers that were out uh, in the garden. And it's just it's a stunningly beautiful garden. Uh, this is one I'd love to ride down to and uh, take a look at myself at some point. Uh, you can see the amount of work that they've put in. But you know, she's saying it's a lot of work, but it's rewarding. And this is a place that she comes home to every day and spends lots of time in uh, and really, really enjoys. So the work, you know, is exercise. And then, you know, as she called it, and then, you know, you get to come home. And this is the thing that they enjoy. And it's really, really stunning what you guys have accomplished uh, in this uh, garden down in Ackworth, Georgia. Thank you so much for sending them in. All right, next up we have photos from Tracy. Uh, this is down in Clemson, South Carolina. They are in Clemson, South Carolina. And we'll start with the house here. And we're gonna see a lot of changes, not only to the uh, garden here, we're gonna see a lot of changes to the house uh, as well. And so you can see where they started with. A uh, few, few plants had been planted uh, in, this, in, this, in this space originally, but they completely changed the front of the house. They put on this uh, cover over the front porch, changed the siding, changed the color of the house, uh, really, uh, really went in and changed uh, everything. And now the house is part of the garden, you know, the garden art as well. They put in this bed out by the uh, mailbox, all new plantings. They put low things below low windows, and, but they have a couple upright narrow things in front of it as well. Again, they've put on the new porch, uh, new sidewalk, done irrigation and sod. They've got, they got path lights out here. Obviously, you can see new shutters, paint, um, and of course, extended uh, all of these planting beds as well. Uh, and here's a side uh, side bed on the house as well. Uh, it looks really, really terrific. Thank you guys so much for sending these in, Tracy. This is an amazing uh, house and garden renovation. Next up, we have a few photos from Marianne up in Long Island, New York. This first one is a drone uh, footage of the front garden, and you know it was all it was all turf out here uh, originally. And uh, she uh, jumped in and uh, got rid of most of the lawn in the front and used sheet mulching or cardboard, you know, to kill the grass and created these uh, three big flower beds out here. And uh, have she did her annuals from seed so you know if you want follow along with the videos you can learn how to save some money that way because we do a lot a lot of the color that's in our garden is from seed as well she planted coosa dogwoods and all kind just an incredible uh color show out here this is again this is a drone a drone shot of it here's one of the edges of the uh the beds here so in the back garden uh, as well you can see how much color there is this is this is I call our garden in Raleigh Clown College design, and I'm going to say that Marianne has bought into that as well. It's just, it's just, just you know, a showstopper of color uh, and texture, and and I'm sure the pollinators absolutely love this garden. So uh, thank you so much for following along with the channel, uh, Marianne, and uh, sending these in from Long Island. Last up, we have Karen over in Crowley, Texas, Zone 8A. She has this side bed here with that they inherited that had a bunch of fatinia in it um, back in 2017 and you know were diseased which is pretty typical of fatinia so those came out and this new bed went in and you can see it early on here with some uh, dwarf burford hollies and some uh, daisies and salvias firepower and andinas um, and then some ve vegetables go in there year to year as well and then she added this obelisk and sweet potato vine hyacinths periwinkle lots of things lots of color uh, added into this space over the years as well and then uh, this they have a back patio area that uh, uh, they jumped in and uh, worked on as well and they put in um, angelonia and salvia that uh, that crepe myrtle as well um, but there are kaleidos also kaleidoscope abelias planted here carissa hollies just a beautiful mix of textures and uh, color in this uh, back garden bed as well. Thank you guys so much for sending in all of these photos. So that's 10 amazing garden transformations. Again, you can send in before and after photos to this email address right here, horttube at gmail.com. Make sure you turn your phone sideways if you're taking uh, photos with your phone because YouTube is a widescreen format. 
Thank you guys so much for participating.